Hello Aries, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for May 2021. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides, show me the messages for, okay, we got one. Ace of Swords in the center of the reading. That is your central issue or your current status. Okay, a new beginning possibly. Your challenge position is the world. Okay, so the challenge is to possibly end something. The base of the reading, we have the King of Cups. Past position, Nine of Wands. Crowning the reading, we have the star. Okay. The forward position is the moon. Well, the universe is here. The moon, the star, and the world. <laughs> Four of pentacles in your roller attitude, holding on to something, and the challenge is to let it go. King of wands is outside influences. It can be another person. It does not have to be. Could be you. The Ace of Pentacles in your hopes or fears. And the final outcome is the Page of Cups. On the underside of the deck, we do have the Death card. Aries. Okay. Under the Death card is the Two of Swords. So you look like you're having a very difficult time ending something. All right. Let's straighten this a little bit. So I can see, and then look at the camera. Okay, I can see that you cannot see all of that. Sorry, guys. It's important to me that you be able to see everything. All right. And that looks a lot better, right? Okay. I feel like you have some type of opportunity that is just like dangling in front of your nose. And it's kind of like you're standing there and you're looking at it, but you're not grabbing it. There's an opportunity here for some type of new beginning, possibly for someone to go after their dreams because the star, the page of cups and the moon are all dreams cards to me. You're, you're, this is your fears. You're afraid of this opportunity. I feel like this could be you the outside influences would be you taking charge, taking action, being confident, going after what you want. The nine of wands in your past tells me that you've been through it. Like you're at the nine, you're, you're approaching the 10. I also feel like with the star card here that something is your destiny, but with the Two of Swords being next to the, and there's the Strength card as well, okay? With the Two of Swords being next to the Death card, this is a difficult choice to end something. And the Strength card would back up exactly what I was saying about your confidence. You need the strength to let go of something. With this Moon card here, I feel like you're afraid of what the future may hold. The Four of Pentacles in your roller attitude tells me that you're holding on to something that no longer serves you. The Four of uh, Pentacles also signifies someone who may be saving money. You may be saving money before you feel like you're actually ready to end something. Whatever this is, it's your wish fulfillment. It's something that you've always wanted to do. This could be someone may want to open their own business here with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're talking to other people about this or you're trying to figure this out or you're asking for others advice. Whatever it is, it's about cutting something or someone out of your life. You have the two aces here. It tells me your new beginning is here. You have the world card, but it's in your challenge position. All of your lessons have been learned. Uh, all your karmic debts have been paid. Like a cycle is complete here. With the page and the two aces, I feel like it's time for you to move on to the next thing. But you're just really in deep thought. Like you're weighing all of your pros and cons or, or comparing your options. What's going to happen if I do this? And then what's going to happen if I do that? Uh, there's a very strong analysis paralysis here. 
The nine of wands signifies someone who's exhausted. I don't know how much longer I can stand here. I don't know how much longer I can do this. I know that we have a Scorpio full moon coming up. I somehow feel like that is significant for you in ending something. The Scorpio full moon is going to highlight a lot of changes, uh, death and rebirth, transformation. It's also the sign of other people's money, taxes, inheritances, even shared resources, you know, with another person. The Scorpio full moon seems to be very significant here. Um, let's get you a couple of messages from the guardian angels. And let's see if we can get a little bit more information. Angels, any additional messages regarding this reading on the table for Aries, please? What messages do you have for Aries? That's too many. All right. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Messenger of Abundance, Page of Pentacles. Wonderful news regarding your career, a new job, a promotion, or acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You might feel re ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. The situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and sometimes mischievous. This person who may be you is youthful, optimistic, and very clever. So this may have something to do with changing career careers or possibly I feel like this could be some type of a creative business that may be on your mind and the money may be what's holding you back show me another message for Scorpio please okay I'm going to take this one I'm not going to take those the Empress, dear one, you're being called to action again. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's time for great creativity that is coming out twice, giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. And I was going to say that because King of Cups and the Page of Cups in the same reading to me is a parent child. Someone may think that they're not ready to have children. And they are holding on to their money or waiting until they're more stable to do so. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. The King of Wands is also something you're passionate about. There's this like really, really strong energy of, I want to do this so bad, but I'm so scared. I'm scared to take the first step. I don't know if it's going to work. Like sometimes we can't just not take any type of action because, you know, we're scared of what the future holds. And I can't even believe that I'm saying this in an Aries reading. You all, being a cardinal sign, you have no problem initiating things. Being a fire sign, you have no problem taking action. But two of swords is a stalemate. I'm also getting pretending to be happy and you're really not. Okay, let's get another message. Let's see if we could get a little more information. Angels, do you have any additional messages? Okay, we'll take that one. Caressa, you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. Once again, I, I, I don't know what this is. I can't really pull any more from this reading. You're just not moving. You're looking at it. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of emotion here. I'm also getting the obvious head over heart decision as well. It's like you're staying in something out of obligation or you're staying in something because you made a promise or you're just being kind, caring, patient. It's time for you to take some type of action here. All right, what's on the bottom? You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. You, you don't. You're not relaxed. You're very, I, I feel like you're worried. I can't believe that the nine of swords is not here. You're worried about making some type of move. 
I just want to point out, I, this isn't going to resonate with a lot of people, but anytime that I get the star in the world in a reading, to me, that's usually world famous. I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords here, that could be potential for someone if they make a move. You know, the world card being in your challenge position would, to me, represent a sacrifice. There's something here that you have to let go of in order to follow your dreams or go after your passion. And I just don't, I just don't feel like you're doing it. All right, I'm going to pull you uh, an other, another angel message. I've chosen a bunch of angel decks for these readings for May because Mars has moved into Cancer and... I tried to do a couple of readings yesterday and they were pretty brutal actually. So um, yeah, sever vows of poverty. Somebody's, somebody's saving money here. They're like, I don't have enough money to do this. I'm not going to be successful. I'm not confident in what the future holds. Uh, dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. Somebody's worried about their money or worried about their stability here. And this one fell out too. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety. Thank you, angels. I knew it. Unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve, even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. You're not confident either. I mean, I, the, the messages just keep repeating now. But whatever this is, they're telling you to just take small steps towards it. I feel like with a page of cups, this could be getting more information or researching something. Like, don't just sit in, in this, I don't know if I want to say denial stage. Um, it's not that you're in denial. It's because I, I, I feel like then this one of these cards said about being in denial or self-denial. The two of swords can represent denial. I don't feel like you're in denial. I, I just feel like you, I, you know what you want. You're just afraid to go after it. But because I keep repeating myself and I feel like I'm not really getting much more out of this reading. Um, yeah, with Mars in Cancer, <laughs> I just, I, I just decided to use a lot softer cards because um, the cards that I was getting was not going to make a nice reading. So here's unlikely flipped right out of the deck. It, it will be unlikely that you will fail or whatever you're thinking is going to happen is not going to happen. It's going to be unlikely. All right, I'm just going to put that on the side. We're going to do an angel answer segment where you can have the chance to ask a question if you would like to. I'm going to lay three cards face down on the table. And when the third card is down, you're going to pick one, two, or three as the answer to your question. It's important that you only pick one number, the first number that comes to your mind, and you don't change your mind. You know, oh, I should pick two, I should pick three, I should pick that. Whatever the first number is that comes to your mind, that's your answer. Okay, and this is just um, your intuition. The moon is about your intuition, okay? So this is just an exercise to teach you how to learn to use your gut. First instinct, just like that, okay? Pick one, two, or three. Here are your answers, Aries. Helpful people. Oops. Yes. <laughs> Somebody got a big yes with an exclamation point. And there's something better. I can see the something better. There's really something better here if you would just take action, feel confident, stop worrying about failing, stop worrying about what the future may hold, follow your passion, follow your dreams, and just go after it. Even it's like a fool type of energy, you know, even if you jump off of the cliff and, and it doesn't work out, then you just you get up and you dust yourself off and you go on to the next thing. But you can't oh, just sit back and keep asking, what if I would have, what if I would have? 
It's the kind of energy that I'm getting from this reading. There's something here that you need to make a priority because it's going to have an absolutely beautiful outcome if you would just do it. That's what I'm going to call this reading. Just do it, Aries. With that said, I am going to leave that there, Aries. I do hope I was able to help someone with this message today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.